Alright guys, welcome to another episode. I'm doing an after work fishing trip. Not going to be very long. Today is September the 1st. It's the best fishing day. Hurricane Ida has taken hold of Louisiana. This is about the third or fourth day of it. Uh, we did not get any rain from it, but it was complete overcast all day here until I get off work, of course. That's how that works. But it is only 85 degrees. I'm at the double waterfalls and I'm going to try for, I'm going to catch mostly spotted bass. That's usually all I catch here. Um, it's one of them deals where I didn't have enough time to go anywhere really good because I got to work tomorrow also. But I still should catch something. And uh, we're going to see if this also very windy it's directly out of the south southeast we're gonna see if this hurricane turned the fish on when it's already a best day we're gonna see if it improves the bite if they bite at all or whatnot I just couldn't resist to at least try after work I just gotta remember how to get down here we're gonna try it and then I have some flukes curly tail grubs and some other lures but I have a good feeling starting out with this will pay off you can't go wrong with anything that imitates a shad this time of the year in the late summer oh yeah the water's good and it's right at the perfect level actually it's a little tiny bit cloudy but nothing to cause any problems a big fish whatever it was there he is all right yeah large mouth too not a spot wow that's rare in here real rare actually I don't know it might be a spot well, it's hard to tell with him. I want to say it's a large mouth, but I could be wrong. No, it's a spotted bass. Yep, spotted. That hey guys didn't take too long. About a minute and a half of fish and maybe five casts. On the crankbait, the Bomber Model A. Sexy Shad or Bluegill, whatever it's supposed to be. Good start anyway, he's about right at a pound. Alright guys, I'm going to get her back in. This is a good sign I guess if I caught a fish that quick. Never came here and not caught fish. Every single time I've pulled something out of here. Yeah, it is a little higher than I wanted it to be. But it's not horrible.
go. Alright. Second fish, guys. Little guy, but hey, good sign they're biting at least. There's a little spot. Alright. I might as well just go ahead and get my dang pliers out. I'm gonna need them. I think there's a good bite going on, guys. And this is a largemouth. All right, first largemouth of the day. Sure is. I think they're liking this bomber, at least so far. So they catch on to what's going on, and I'll probably have to change. They'll smarten up to it. Little bitty large mouth. Something wrong with this fin. Alright, fish number three. Oh yeah, mmm, boy, I'm, yeah, I'm doing good, guys, it looks like, I may have a good evening, I ain't getting the size I'm after, but I'm getting numbers, and there is days I'd rather get numbers, I guess, but you never know, the giant one could await, my personal best spotted bass came from here, so, it's very possible, little guy about 10 inch. It's a small one. He ain't getting me in that damn tree, or did he? Nope. I ain't letting you, bud. I caught him in the butt. About another 10 inch spotted bass in the butt. All right, I know he snapped at it though. It just ended up there somehow. Strange. Calm down. That's fish number five already, guys, in 10 minutes of fishing, actual fishing. Ten inch spotted. Pretty guy. All right, I got to wash my hands. Some. Oh, got one. All right. I think I got a bluegill or... Yeah! Holy cow, guys! That's a nice bluegill. Huh. Pretty cool. Bluegill on a bluegill.
I mean, he's eating size. That's a good little creek gill anyway. On a crankbait. Not bad. As soon as it hit the water, guys, didn't even, wow, took one second. Well, I got faith in this lure. It's a white bass. Yeah. Oh, I've only caught three white bass out of here, guys, in my life. That is awesome. Holy cow, man. Sweet. Maybe there's more than one. They may migrate up here in the fall. That's not a bad white bass either. He's about 12. I'm serious, guys. I've only caught two in this whole river in my whole life, and they were back-to-back -back in a one-minute time period. On that simmer shad, guys, someone told me you can't use these unless you use a shaky or a, oh, what are they called? They got the plastic bill on the jig head. Well, I just proved them wrong. That's a nice surprise. Oh yeah, I got a big one, guys. Whatever I got is nice. Oh, I was working this. I kept twitching it off the bottom and scooting it along. Finally, a big one. Not a bad fish. Oh yeah. Man. On the shimmer shad, guys. I'm liking this lure. I'm already going to order more. I'm going to order a bunch of them. It's a weird lure. Because what it does... Even though you hook the jig head normal through its body, the design of it makes it fall on its side. When you, when you quit reeling it in and it falls down, it falls over on its side like an injured bait fish. I don't know how they do it, it's just the shape of it or something. Maybe the weight distribution. But uh, yeah, it falls on its side like a flounder. And uh, I'm telling you guys, Shimmer Shad, give them a try. So far, it's caught me two nice fish. My biggest spotted bass of the day and the surprise white bass. Very happy, guys. 
guys, I knew something told me to come after work today. There's not going to be too many more days where I can do this because it's getting darker earlier and earlier. Before you know it, it'll be dark at 5 o'clock. So I figured I'd take advantage of it while I can. Nice little spotted bath, guys. On that chartreuse and white shimmer shad. Very awesome. Unfortunately, the lure's already ruined, and I only brought one. Just to try it out now, I regret that. I wish I would have brought a whole four pack. Now I gotta take it off and put on something else, unfortunately. Oh well. I might be able to get one more off of it. Nice little spot. It can handle one more fish, and that's it. Let's get one more fish on that lure. I was finessing that fish. I kept just jigging it up and down off the bottom, scooting it along a foot at a time. I felt him grab it and let go, so I went back the other direction and there he was. Oh yeah, oh yeah! Oh! Well there went my shimmer shad, it's over with for that. But I enjoyed it while it lasted. I caught three nice fish on it, guys. My lure literally just ripped off and it's floating down the river. Oh man, nice spotted bass. Man, there ain't no way I can get it. Wow. Finally got three nice, decent sized fish. Now I'm just gonna go to a fluke. Curly tail grub. Something. Whatever else I had. One thing I regret is not bringing more of them shimmer shads. They work. I'm telling you, the crankbait was catching fish, but they were all small. There's something about that shimmer shad it catches bigger fish. Another nice one, about like the last one. Well over a pound and a half anyway. Not bad. Heck yeah. So I caught about 10 fish so far. Three of them being decent ones. Damn. On the spinner bay, guys. Heck yeah. All right. Strike King for the win. All right. Hell yeah. Looks like everything worked a little bit. Crank bait, swim bait, curly tail, and the spinner bait. Definitely not a big guy, but hey, it's a fish. Little guy for a big old half ounce spinner, right? Alright, makes 12 fish, I think, guys. It's kind of lost count, but it's around 11 or 12. Now I'm going to go try the spinner bait down here. Because now the sun's going kind of down. And uh, I'm going to try it down there. Oh yeah, as soon as it hit the wall. Oh man, there he is. Got him. Oh yeah. It's a big one too, guys. Yes! Whoa! Man, on the spinner bait. 
What a nice one. Another nice fish to leave with. That's probably my almost my biggest one of the day. Damn close. Man, that's a nice one. What a nice spotted bass on the Strike King Red Eye, I think it's called. I'm not sure what it's called. It's got a blood red hook. And red and chartreuse and white skirt. Not bad. He was inside that tree like I knew he would be. Guys, I caught 13 fish. Four nice ones now. Three nice spots and that white bass. Not bad. It's a good day for what time I fished. I only fished an hour and a half. Definitely not bad for an hour and a half of fishing.